Gojo, our first foray into the oeuvre of Sogo Ishii, known these days, since 2012, as Gakuru Ishii. Gakuru means dragon in English. One of Ishii's turn of the millennium collaborations with legendary, dashing actor Tadanambu Asano was 2000's Gojo, subtitled Spirit War Chronicle. Written by Ishii in collaboration with one Goro Nakajima and produced, I would suppose funded is a more apt, less romantic and less professional term, by Takanori Sento, who had been responsible for overseeing the highly successful Ring trilogy. Sento, apparently, the source to Link is Dead, sought to prospectively engineer a box office smash hit within the established appeals of the Jidai Geki format, that is, the mostly samurai and or Edo period oriented historical drama. The premise of this film is fascinating, if you'll allow me to spoil the storyline, do leave now if you'd prefer to see the picture for yourselves. Anyway, so insinuating, depicting a narrative wherein the legendary historical figures of Shoshitsune and Benkai on the known record were actually imposters. Superhuman warriors Kojin and Keshimaru, who were retainers of the Genji, aka Minamoto clan. The Minamoto clan was led by a historical figure named Minamoto no Yoshitsune, although the film storyline tells of a young mystic, also the Genji heir, named Shanao, who has been posing as a demon lurking underneath Gojo Bridge at night, slaughtering Heiki, or aka Taira, the enemy clan of the Genji slash Minamoto, soldiers bloodily decapitating them as though a completely invisible force. This was the real, the original, Yoshitsune, which the Yoshitsune of Japan's recorded historical narrative was an imposter replacement of, following his death in battle at this film's sorely unrelenting climax. The film's focus is on a reformed, violent samurai, now a devout Buddhist monk named Benkai, who has taken it upon himself to slaughter the purported demon who haunts the titular Gosho Bridge. The apparent instructor and mentor of these three super-powered soldiers, Shoshinbo, following the destruction of both the monk Benkai and the Genji heir Shano slash Shoshitsune in battle with one another, declares Keshimaru and Goshin to be Yoshitsune and Benkai, and Benkai now an ally of the Genji slash Minamoto. The rest is history, as we know. So, a very fascinating alternative history, which incorporates strands of mysticism and spirituality in an otherwise grounded, gritty, violent, historical samurai epic bash. Stylistically, I'm reminded of Kinji Fukasaku's 1981 exemplary classic samurai reincarnation, which served as a supernatural successor to the Miyamoto Musashi legend. Sogo slash Gakuru Ishii is one of the most utterly intriguing film artists I've ever encountered. His features released throughout the 1980s, 90s, and 21st century thus far, although I haven't seen all of it, certainly from this century, are consistently challenging the established means which his peers are exploring film composition, or he also appears to be trying to challenge his own creative impulses, once they've been established and realised as a feature, as though he sees an inadequacy in it or its potential limitations, where he can go next, what lies further. This is what Ishii is compelled to discover. From revolutionary, aggressively influential cyberpunk for the 1980s, a turn into an expressive, warming and enriching magical realism, or even outright fantasy, enchanting his fortunate viewers of the 1990s, and then in the 2000s, I am familiar with his attempts to explore an unusual though compellingly teasing some profound wisdom, digital video minimalism within 2006's Kyoshin aka Mirrored Mind, among the most enriching films of this century thus far, and one which made me feel as though the 2000s optimism which I felt, as a young child admittedly though, expressed by others far older than me in hindsight also, I will say, was sincerely potent an optimism about a perceived unifying, lucid, warming and comfortable future of magical spaces, clarity and calm, and individuals block as the gravity for one fine-tuning a perfect, to them at least, life. But that is Kyoshin, a separate film to that being discussed for today. So once more, on to 2000's Gojo. Gojo offers a vision of cinema's capabilities for the 21st century, premiering right during September 2000 at the Toronto Film Festival and operating within the known samurai period piece territories. It displays what current technology, fluid imagination and forward-thinking artistry is capable of in the forthcoming millennium. 
Although the Matrix arguably didn't add too much narratively or conceptually to the flux continuum of dystopian or post-apocalyptic or existentially charged cinematic science fiction spectacles, its filmic ambitions for technology employed in its creative application through the film wholly demonstrated the capabilities of the future, relished in them, celebrated them. The thought occurs to me how if The Matrix was elevated inspiring the John Woo format for the coming millennium, Gojo was doing so for the aforementioned Kinji Fukasaku. Someone feel free to offer a more suitable comparison if they'd care. Gojo, when I first viewed it, it was either during 2016 or 17, I considered one of the absolute best films I'd ever seen, validating the samurai and madness formula supernatural indulgence with forward-thinking cinematic imagineering at the turn of the century. There was something so involvingly exciting about Gojo, both figuring where it had sat in history, imagine, image, imagining being some imagine being some film geek in a dorm room or studio apartment with a copy of Gojo on a laser disc if you're really quite lucky back in the year 2000 or 2001, 2, 3. How amazingly happy and excited for life would you feel then? DVD, whatever. And where it stood or as an experience one could uh, sit with at any time in, in the present day in order to enhance, enchant, conjure magic of their surroundings. Sincerely, I am reminded of the magical possibilities inherent in this earth. I am in a much better mood after I experience Ishii's Gojo, a picture which I envy, admire, and am grateful exists. A holy, it wholly enhances my lived existence.